Hey, this is Formblood and this video I'm going to talk to you about how you can record your awesome movements as a ZIF in Unity. So, let's start it. Okay, first thing we need to download this source code. Okay, and you can download this by going to code and download zip or download from release. They both have the same thing. Download from wherever you want. Okay, then you need to, like they said here, you need to copy the assets, get source the capture. So, you need to open your download the source codes and go to the assets. And you need to download the get social no that get social capture sorry you need to, you, you need to import this okay you need to drag and drop this get social capture into your projects and they have said here like uh, copy the assets get social capture folder to project just drag and drop this folder and all things are going to turn and they also said then you need to add a get social capture script to your any game object uh, okay so you need to create a game object and add, add this here okay. And then, okay, let's see this in Unity. So I already imported all the stuffs here. And if you, I added this get social capture script to my main camera, you can add wherever you want. Okay, you need to add this anywhere. So I'm choosing the main camera here. Now after adding this, you could look at some settings here. Capture frame rate or max capture playback. So my capture frame rate like uh, at what speed, basically how what speed is going to capture. Right, so for this 10. And then next thing is capture mode. Now capture mode continues going to be record the last last n number of frames. Okay, and manual they have another mode than manual. This as a name suggests it's going to record manually. Like you give the command and where from start manually. But I'm going to show you how, how the capture like capture for best here. And you set the max capture frames like how many cap frames you can capture, and the playback frame frame rates how uh, playback back frame rates uh, at what speed is going to play back okay you can loop play back you can also from here and next thing you need to give the capture camera here so I plug this one here so I'm going to drag and drop my camera component here that main camera so we have settings all the settings if you wanted to read more of them you can read here like they have tell everything about their about all the settings like condition as I said they are going to record the last n number of frame rates and manually going to record the camera contain when the capture frame going to matter is called okay so they give everything here so, uh, so now for the recording stuff I want to record something like uh, when I play the game and uh, I want that it's when I play game start recording and when the cube hits that at any point it's going to stop recording so just a uh, falling of the cube falling of the cube we're going to make the SSF file which so this as a zip or some playback or like something like that so I'm going to create a new script uh, zip recorder just as a name uh, just add a name JF recorder and going to open this in the Visual Studio. Now you need first you need to add a new script, uh, sorry, new line using get sources SDK dot capture scripts. Okay, this is important. Okay, then you need to exit the get sources capture script. Uh, this script you need to exit that script here. Okay, and we can't want a preview canvas. Now when we recorded the script, when we recorded the capture, everything recorded everything, we need to have some way to play it so we're going to use a canvas for playing this stuff okay so i'm going to access the canvas as a game object okay and then we also need a one more script one more access the one more script that is get social capture preview this script will be responsible for the seeing this uh showing the was showing the stuff okay so i'm going to name this capture preview here yeah. they both are public after all and this one is private because they because this script exists on the same component so i can directly access this in the wire update by capture equal to get component or get social capture okay and by default we make the preview canvas was directly false because when the game because we don't want to see any capture files we only want to see the preview after the things happened okay and we're going to simply call get new to function or uh, start recording and stop recording instead of start recording i'm going to simply call the function capture dot start capture this is going to be starting start the capture okay this function is going to start a capture and the public voice stop uh, recording is going to stop the recording also capturing so we first call the capture then we enable the preview canvas and we then in the preview canvas we just going to show the our stuff by calling the play function from the capture preview from this script maybe uh, from this script and okay so we got we can now record it and we can stop it but we also need something to uh, generate this okay because we cannot show this without generating this stuff okay so I'm just throwing a debug to log the starting GIF generation and I'm going to do add this function uh, I don't know what the hell is this uh, they written this over here 
I don't know I just copy paste something here like look at this caps to generate caps result okay so maybe they, they need to add something here maybe they have something like need to add some SDK of get social for the saying to your friends maybe something like that I don't know okay maybe from maybe here you can add maybe the actual conversion of the zip file I have no idea after all these things but maybe you need but as a, they comment here they maybe they you need to download the SDK and then that some that something here to convert this into shape or saying to your friends something like that okay but leave this empty because it's still going to be work and then we're going to capture dot generate result okay we cap we just need to capture dot generate result okay generate capture and we give the result in this package so this is going to generate the capture and then this and then generate it this is going to be ready for the play okay so let's uh, in the test script I just small test purpose I create script so we first get access to the GIF recorder this script okay and from there at the game start I'm going to get access to the GIF recorder from the main camera and then GIF we're going to call this GIF the start recording this is going to ca start the capture one okay start capture and as soon as I hit anything on and hit anything that cube hit anything like for example hit the plane plane if they hit the plane so we are going to be stop the recording okay so it's going to be stop recording the zip now if I play and we are going to need a preview canvas and some get uh, capture preview so if you go to the get social capture folder yeah, they have a prefab and you need to drag and drop this get social prefab into this here but before this you need to create a canvas UI and uh, right click need to add canvas okay right canvas okay they have canvas you can change play on the settings if you want but I'll just leave it default as it is and dragging this get social capture under as a child as you look they got something like this box come up now uh, here you can give the width or height okay so in the script I read you need to give like I give 1920 uh, tab by 1080 okay this cover the full screen let me switch to the 4k one now that you can see the behind one also okay so higher the resolution more the clear will be it's it's it depend on you so it's depend on the screen size okay i prefer the lower value if you have large num larger zip file or it's capture pretty much higher and if the width and height will be smaller this display the file a very smooth okay and here if you look they have a playback frame and loop playback I'm going to leave this setting as it is because 30 frame plus is ok and what I'm going to do main camera I'm going to main camera drag the canvas as a preview canvas canvas and the capture preview we're going to drag on this ok we're going to drag drop in this and this one going to be this ok let's uh, set it false by default and if I play this it's going to fall and we can see now the problem here that things are really opposite so we can need to fix this we can either uh, rotate it on z axis by 180 and as a scale you can give minus 1 now things work smooth ok they have right position and right rotation everything rightly you can do some simple things ok now one more thing like uh, you have a pretty large frame rate you can make it more smooth, small, uh, smoother by increasing the capture frame rate and increasing the max capture frame rate. Um, if you have pretty large something, you, uh, things are recording is pretty large, but it's take is pretty performance heavy. I check it. So, like for example, I have to make it 200 and 30 frame rates. Uh, make it 180 here. Let's rotate it and minus one. And if I uh, play this. It's still going to work. Look, it's going to st uh, stop for some time. It's taking some time now, but look, uh, it's pretty smooth out here. Now, our zip become pretty smooth. Okay, so that's it for this video. I hope you learn from some this. You can play all the settings of the thing, or you can also check if you want. But you can also check the readme section for more stuff. They have complete guide. Uh, they did complete. They have a complete guide and script. Everything for written here. They give uh they have to calculate the length by the these these things and this for the example. So you can use this zip file as like this something 
like when the player died you can show this file as a in some corner of the screen so make sure that if you're targeting the mobile devices make sure the uh, resolution is pretty slow like weight and height will be very uh, low so it will does not take too much performance savvy okay like so that's it for this video uh, if you like this video like the button and thanks for watching